we do now? <sighs> this is my fault. I should have been keeping an eye out. I guess we should start looking. Oh, Agnia. Is something wrong? What happened to your show? We have a runaway. A runaway? You mean, your dove? Don't worry, I'll help you find it. No, it's not the dove. It's Boss. But what What do you mean? Sometimes her nerves get to her before a show. But we have to bring her back. We can't perform without our leading lady. <sighs> oh, goddess. Let me help. I don't quite understand why she's run away, but... We have to find her. For the audience's sake. Thank you, Agnia. Thank you! These three are probably fine. I'm still kind of questionable about the boss. Especially since I couldn't, uh... Scrutinize or inquire her at all. For, wait, I can bribe you? Oh, that's for the... Right. You got stuff? Oh my god. It's definitely not worth. So, a theme for our next performance. Battle. I'm thinking on stage conflict. So, okay. <laughs> Do I have to beat him up to prove my worth? Oh god, he's kind of strong. Let's not do that then. Got anything good? Go to sorry. You here at night? Got four. Of course you're not. Are you here? No, you're someone else. <laughs> also, you hear the flute in the background now. There's someone actually playing the flute on the stage. It's kind of nice for the night theme of this place. I do like the jazzy uh, music of the daytime, though. Care of this. But this is still good. Uh, ooh, HP and SP. Okay. I'll take good care of That's this. Good. That. Let's check up here. Did I talk to you guys yet? Oh, I really just took all your stuff. Also, I don't know how I didn't realize you had a quest. Oh, I have found some pearls. Uh, how many are there? Thank you so much. I think we're missing one or two, but that's all right. Oh. I guess. <laughs> Necklace and uh, I I wanted to ask, would you all marry me, please? This necklace looks like it's missing a few pearls. <laughs> I only value value for how many pearls you can get. It caused something and broke, didn't it? Yes, I was in a rush to get it to you. You see, and you can be so hasty sometimes. I guess that leaves me no choice but to watch over you. Every day of our lives. Wait, does that mean? Yes, I'd be happy to be your wife. Wahoo! I couldn't have done it without you, friend. I'll never forget this promise. Cupid's bow. Uh, it's worse than what he has, so I don't want it. Flight science to confuse. Go ahead and get your stuff. 
I'll take good care. Free stuff is always good. <laughs> and you guys get it. Okay. May the full loop. I'm trying to curious what's gonna be happening with the boss though. Like, just how much trouble is she going to get herself into? Or is she going to be the trouble? Oh, is that, that chest all the way? Oh, I see. It's the thing over here. I need to get that chest that way. Oh, that's also where the boss is. Okay. isn't the dreamer your troops said you ran away did something happen it all disappeared every line I was supposed to say just vanished my mind went completely blank during rehearsal imagine if that happened in a real performance it's happened before and every time I just ran away. I'm not meant for this stage anymore. My life as a performer is over. Giselle... But what about your audience? They've been looking forward to your show. I envy the sea. It has no worries, it feels no pain. It must be nice, not being swayed by anyone. Sometimes I wish I could just sink to the bottom of the ocean. And rest there peacefully, like a seashell. <laughs> Allure, Giselle. Seduce her to follow you. Oh, I can actually... Um, now. She plays the lead role in the productions and is known for her theatrical and amusing man mannerisms upon the stage. She and her friends traveled around with her wagon. And Why couldn't I learn that na earlier? Why only now? <laughs> I don't understand. I understand why I couldn't alert her before. Giselle, you said you wanted to be a seashell, right? Mm. But you can't. Can't just go giving up like that. Giving up? <laughs> She's even making her accent. Life ain't always easy. Everybody knows that. But making people smile? That's why you and I live and breathe. <sighs> Acnea. Oh. What happened to your feet? They've got calluses all over. Don't tell me. You got all those from dancing? I can't imagine how much that hurt. And at your tender age. These are nothing. They were worth it to bring smiles to people's faces. <sighs> so chin up, Giselle. Even if you forget your lines, you just learn them again. Believe in yourself. You can do anything you set your mind to. A star is someone who illuminates people's lives, right? So even if you stumble, you just have to get back on your feet. Hmm. Just get back on your feet, huh? Yeah. It's high time you came out of your shell, Giselle. Besides, you're not a seashell. You're a shiny pearl. And I think the world could use your radiance. Agnea. You're right. I have to get back on my feet. That's the spirit. Now let's go.
All right, time to head on back. If I can, there we go. There you go. <laughs> How do I get to you? Wait, what? Oh, here we go. No, please stop talking. Thank you. Oh, another pearl. Well, that course is already over, so. Oh, well. <laughs> Back night. Let's take it. I mean, I already looked around quite a bit to try to get free stuff. How strong are you? I can try this. Why not? Raise your weapon. Since we're here, On I want to know what's guard. behind you. I'm curious. Here I come. All right, go ahead and do ventral blade. Choose your next move wisely. You fight dirty. Attack down. Uh. Oh, don't use magic. Prepare yourself. You coward! Don't you use magic on me. My blade saves. Use the sword. It's nice and easy. Here I come. Right there. My turn. Uh. For defiant stance. Allow me. To defense up with my attack. I return your wrath. Go. Now it begins. My go turn. ahead and regress the slash. My blade sinks. This is gonna be very easy. Prepare. I'll end this. Uh, piercing thrust. My spear does not err. I return your wrath twofold. Now it begins. All right. Uh, go ahead and set up. Do I set up a venture blade? Can I easily break her next turn? Let's see if we're are you to uh, daggers at all. Your life blood is mine. Prepare right. yourself. For slash. My blade sinks. My, I fight. And let's end this. Boils. Although she might not die from this. She's still in white health, so. Now it begins. All right, go ahead and go. press slash. My blade She's in red sinks. now. My turn. Might be able to finish her off. Surprise attack here. I'm a step ahead. Time to strike. Not quite. Now it begins. Another one. I'm a step ahead. Of course. All right. It's fine. Prepare Smack. Yourself. Oh. Okay. For the pride of Koo. You still have much oh, to it's learn. not that bad. Powerful staff attack on all foes. Uh, look at our thrash. I look forward to using this. Oh, and that's how I can get more uh, kids to show up if I want. All right, cool. Well, that was neat to have that there. Uh, no. Not gonna bother with the hat. Or that, for short. <laughs> Your stuff already. Yeah, so these people I, I might just have to buy from. Even if I would rather not. Wait, I already have your stuff, I'm going. I can't scrutinize you, though. Well, hmm. while journeying across the land with our trusty wagon, we arrived here on Tropu Hopu. We've come to shine upon the flowers in your hearts that they may bloom into smiles. 
We are Giselle's traveling troop, bringing smiles to every corner of the realm. I can't thank you enough, Egnia. You helped us get our wagon out of the mud and even helped Boss find her courage again. <sighs> I'm sorry. I got worked up, so... I might have gotten a little carried away. You don't need to apologize. We're grateful to you. She puts on quite the show, doesn't she? She sure does. She's been holding that pose for the whole ten minutes with that dove sitting on her. It's amazing. Boss's bad habit of running away had our troop constantly on the move. But when she stands upon that stage, she shines brighter than anyone. What sort of spell did you cast on her, Agnia? I've never seen her this radiant before. Praise be the goddess for this day. Thank you, thank you. It warms my heart to see you all smile like this. Now then, there's someone I'd like to introduce to you all. I owe a great deal to her for setting me on the right path. Please welcome Agnia, the traveling dancer. M me? That's your cue. Show us a dance, will you? <laughs> if you insist. Watch me shine. I thought the purple-haired lady played the flute. Why is she singing playing a flute? Why is she singing? <laughs> Cheers! I want to thank everyone for our successful show tonight. And Agnia for touching my heart. Your heart? I can say without a doubt that you'll bring happiness to people the world over. D do you really think so? I agree. You're going to be a star someday. Speaking of stars... That reminds me of Dalton Oh, there we go. Here's the plot, finally. <laughs> <sighs> I think Agnia here can outshine even that superstar. You've got a real talent for making people smile. I... I don't know what to say. But we won't go down without a fight. We're going to keep practicing. We have to! For the Grand Gala! The Grand Gala? It's the greatest festival on the Eastern Continent. Entertainers and dancers from all across the realm gather there. Standing upon that stage is the greatest honor there is for performers like us. You know what? I just... My... Wow. That sounds like a dream come true. This one I don't even have a boss. This might be one of those... She might not have like a branching path at all. So maybe she just has like one rest chapter, which might be this one. This sounds like we're ending the chapter right now. <laughs> you too, Agnia? I just have a feeling that I need to be there if I'm going to be a star. Which is why I have to go. Woohoo! I remember now why your name sounds so familiar. You've got the same last name as Kwani Bristarni, the star from the West. You 
knew my mother? I see. So you're her daughter. I heard about her when I went to the town of Sai in the West for a show. They said she danced there about 20 years ago. She was well loved by everyone, just like you. I had no idea. So I wonder if that statue we saw inside then is of her mother. I think I'd like to see this town for myself. I might be able to learn something about my mother there. There's still time before the gala this year. It might not be a bad idea to pay that place a visit. I believe I will. Thank you, Giselle. Acnea, you gave me more courage than I've ever had before. But I haven't been able to give anything to you in return. Giselle... That's not true. You've all given me so much. Probably this one. I'm gonna go with this one. That's so? Then... I'm happy. <laughs> the value of a smile. Good luck on your journey, That Agnes. seems to fit more of the themes of this chapter. No matter what happens, keep smiling. If you do, happiness is sure to find you. Those are beautiful words. Would you mind if I use them in a song? <laughs> It'd be my honor. Goodbye for now, Agnia. May the goddess be with you. See you! Safe travels, everyone. I'll see you at the Grand Gala. I look forward to it already. Just please don't run away this time, boss. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. And even if I stumble... I just have to get back on my feet. Right, Agnia? <laughs> right. I swear, nothing has happened this chapter. <laughs> Agnia has set her sights on a new goal. Performing at the Grand Gala. She believes dancing upon the stage there will lead her to stardom. Her fateful meeting with Giselle's traveling troupe Provides her with a verse of the oh my god! Provides her with a verse to the song of hope. But before the gala, she decides to visit a town her mother once danced in. And you're a dancer, chapter three end. Okay. Yeah. The, this felt like a nothing chapter. <laughs> it really did. Uh, I guess I should probably end the episode there. But I can just do that in post, honestly. If I need to. Because I expected there to be a boss in a dungeon. So that's why I kind of explored around it a little bit. So that way I can split it into two episodes. But now it's either going to be one really long episode or two two short episodes. So I don't know. We're just going to do this out of commerce now. And then we're going to... Then I'll end the session. And I'll definitely end it then. Look at that. Guess this area is a shipyard. How dare you try to pawn off that miserable vessel on me? What? I assure you, sir. That wretch is the legendary shipwright's apprentice? Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. You have my sincerest apologies, sir. I, I had no idea. And that ridiculous sum, she asked. Does she not even know the market value of a ship? You have the right of it, sir. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. 
Oh, a worthless yes man. Fah. This has been a colossal waste of my time. I am furious. Furious. Good day, sir. Uh, wait, please. The apprentice of a legendary ship ride, eh? My merchant's nose is tickling. It's the Santa Commerce. Yes, yeah, so that's what your little side stories are called, Patricio. <laughs> what they're called. So, one of this is going to lock into the port then, which will let me get somewhere else. I think over here. Oh, wait, yes. No? Okay. <laughs> Don't get around the thing, please. Thank you. Let me get this chest real quick. Turn around and leave. You won't find anything here but an incomplete ship. <laughs> Lucky for me, that's exactly what I'm looking for. What are you doing, Patricio? Excuse me? The name's Particio. I'm a merchant from that big old western continent. Mind if I take a gander at your work? This ship is not for sale. Hoo -wee. This is what that rich fellow was complaining about, costing an arm and a leg. He asked me my price, so I told him. Nothing more to it. Well, how much is this here tub? I'm mighty curious myself now. A hundred thousand leaves. But I already said it wasn't for sale. If you have a problem with that, you can just go home. So that's the miserable vessel, huh? Half finished and left high and dry for a while by the looks of it. <laughs> My merchant sense is tingling. This here ship's a must buy. 100,000, huh? I don't have that sort of capital on me right now. I'll need to save up, then swing back when I do. Wait, do I actually have to buy this thing? Do I actually have to buy this thing? What the hell? <laughs> I'm like, I have to buy it. Are you kidding me? What's this? Shipper went ahead to her grandfather's shipyard. Her parents are both traveling scholars, so she spent most of her young life around her grandfather. She grew up conceited after mastering the fundamentals of shipwright of shipbuilding at 14, but has since been humbled by the realization that her grandfather was truly a master of his craft. Hmm. Huh. Oh my god. Well, I actually have to save up my money and buy the ship. That's ridiculous. Well, I guess that will do it for this episode then. I'm glad I didn't end it earlier. Uh, how high level is your thing in Psy? 34? Okay. Yeah, chapter. F yeah. It's not even like a route or anything. So I wonder if it's going to be four, bo four bosses for character then, like Octo One. It's just now there's an extra interlude chapters here and there. But yeah, that means next time, oh, uh, it's a twenty-four and what? Twenty-six, twenty-nine. Why is our chapter two higher? <laughs> His chapter three. Oh my god! So that means this place is next then. Winter Bloom. Honestly, I've been really dying to see more of Throne's story where this is going. How deep, though, do the snakes go? How deep do they burrow, if you will? And while we're up here, can also stop by and check out the, um, uh, the whatever here, the, the guild. Yeah, so next time, we'll be doing Chapter 2, Father's Route for Throne. Hopefully there will be a boss there. I've been wanting to fight a boss that I haven't fought before in so damn long. <laughs> It's been so many months waiting. 
Hope you all have a wonderful time, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.